Good morning, hello, afternoon, I guess whatever time of day it is that you are looking at this. But what we're going to do right now is you guys had a little short assignment here on page 130, numbers 1 through 4. So what I'm going to do right now is go through these before we send you on your way for the second half of the homework on this lesson, okay? So we are going to just correct this assignment. All right, Lee is making beaded necklaces. For each necklaces, she used 27 spacers. So all the time, no matter what, she is using 27 spacers. Plus five beads per inch. Now write an equation to say how many beads Lee needs for each necklace. All right, so the 27 spacers is going to be an initial value because this is no matter what we're going to use that so what is the input well we first need to know how many inches so the number of inches she's going to make this necklace so how long is the necklace number of inches necklace is All right, that's our input. The output is going to be the number of beads. All right, so our equation, remember, is going to be y equals blank x plus blank. So the initial value, no matter what, the y-intercept, the y-intercept that she is using here, which is also called the initial value, is 27. So that's the number that goes in this last blank here, 27. And then she's got five beads per inch. So we're going to put a five in here. So our equation is y equals 5x plus 27. All right, question number two. Kate is planning a trip to the beach. She estimates her average speed to graph her expected progress on the trip. Write an equation in slope-intercept form that represents the situation. So in here, we need to find two points in order to graph this. All right, well, I am actually going to use this point right here, and I'm going to use this point right here. So the one down here on the bottom is over 5, up 0, and this one up here on the top is over 0 and up 300. So remember, when we're doing slope, we're going to do change in y, over change in x. And remember, our y values are the second numbers in our ordered pairs. So I'm going to do 300 minus 0. And if I did 300 minus 0, then I have to do 0 minus 5 on the bottom. So 300 minus 0 is 300. And I'm going to divide by negative 5. So 300 divided by negative 5 is negative 60. So that's what goes in here in this first blank is negative 60. So now it says read the y-intercept from the graph. So the y-intercept is going to be where does this line cross the y-axis? And it's right here at 300. So now I have my slope and my y-intercept and I can write my equation. y equals blank x plus blank. Remember, slope goes in that first blank, so this is a negative 60. And the y-intercept goes in the second blank, so we get a 300. All right, number three. At 59 degrees, crickets chirp at 76 times per minute. At 65 degrees, they chirp at 100 times per minute. Write an equation in slope-intercept form. So the input is the temperature. So the temperature is the thing that is controlling how many chirps there are. So the output is going to be the chirps. So remember, input is x, output is y. So when I write my ordered pair, I'm going to put my temperature first, 59, and the number of chirps was 76. Okay, in the second one, I have a 65 degrees, and the chirps were 100. 
So they're going to want me to write and find an equation here. So the first thing I need to do is find the slope. And remember, it's y over x. And I like to circle my y values so I make sure I get focused and get those two numbers on top. So 100 minus 76 goes on top. And if I did the bottom number, 100 minus 76, then I have to do 65 minus 59 on the bottom. So 100 minus 76 is going to be 24. And 65 minus 59 is 6. Now 24 divided by 6 is 4. So it looks like my slope for this equation is 4. Okay, so when I write my equation, I can write y equals 4x plus what? Well, in that last example here, things were graphs, so I could just go look at my graph and find out where that y-intercept is. Well, I can't do that in this equation, so I'm going to have to substitute my values x and y into the equation. So it doesn't matter which one we use. So I'm just going to use this top one. And remember, x is the first number, y is the second number. So I'm going to substitute in place of this y right underneath it. I'm going to write 76. Now I'm going to replace the x, and the x value is 59. And then I'm going to solve for b, or my y-intercept. So I probably am need, going to need to grab a calculator here because I don't know what 59 times 4 is off the top of my head. And that is 236. Now, that 236 is positive, so remember we have to do the opposite. So I'm going to subtract 236, and whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. So 76 minus 236 is negative 160. These cancel out, and then you're left with B. And that's what my goal was, is I wanted to know what B was, what the y-intercept is, and it is negative 160. So this equation is y equals 4x minus 160. All right, number four, explain what m and b in the equation tell you. Well, l, I'm sorry, l, m tells me slope, and that is my constant change. This is my constant change. And the b tells me my y-intercept. So it's telling me where the line crosses the y-axis. Where line crosses the y-axis. All right, so that is your homework. Um, good luck on the rest of your assignment.